Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew, welcome and glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility, use cases, and that solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me right over here at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. Please do your own research outside this channel. Let's get into it. We have some exciting news today on Hedera Hashgraph. Yet another business has ditched Ethereum for Hedera. This business had a, a marketplace running on Ethereum and they are tokenizing some cool assets, which we are going to talk about. And they switched over to Hedera. And then we have this milestone that just came down my feed as well by Hedera. Two million accounts created on the Hedera network. We just crossed 2 million accounts. Amazing milestone. Hedera always seems to accomplish things much faster in the blockchain space. I should say milestones. This 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 project seems to meet milestones very fast compared to some of the other blockchains. Hedera also just crossed 7 billion transactions. Just mind blowing when you compare it to other projects in the space. And these transactions are businesses using this thing. So that is super exciting. Let's get into it. So the name of the business here is, is uh, Diamond Standard. And what they do is they tokenize diamonds. So you and I can go ahead and buy fractions of this stuff on a marketplace but it's really back. It's backed by the actual commodity in itself. Here is the business on CNBC talking about the project. Now, I believe this video was probably probably created just before they launched on Ethereum. So keep in mind, this is pre them ditch, ditching Ethereum and moving over to Hedera. Even with $1.2 trillion in market value, diamonds have not had their own regulated asset until very recently. Diamond Standard offers the first ever diamond commodity, including tokenized diamond bars and coins. The company just completed a $30 million capital raise. And founder and CEO Cormac Kinney is expanding the, quote, untapped potential of this precious resource. So, number one, thank you for being here. I mean, you brought some party favors. <laughs> Let's take a look at this right here. I mean, this is what we're talking about right here. And when you're talking about diamonds as a regulated asset. So we all know what diamonds are. We all know that they're valuable. Explain the business that you're launching. Well, diamonds are interesting because second only to gold, they're the most valuable hard natural resource, worth more than all the silver, platinum, and palladium combined. But they've always been out of reach to investors because every diamond's a little bit different and no one knows what their diamonds are worth. So what we solved using computer science is we made a singular spot commodity, a coin and a bar, where every coin is equal. Inside, the diamonds all add up to a public standard, and because they're all equal, they trade at the same price, which enables us to have price discovery, liquidity, and ability to mark to market, which is what an investor needs. And so now we move to this tweet that came down my feed from the HBAR Foundation, where Diamond Standard talks about their recent move from Ethereum to Hedera. It's cool stuff. Let's take a listen. These are 5,400. They're always 10 to 1 through the magic of math. Uh, but if even a $5,400 token is, is not something you just on a whim buy. But what's the breakthrough with BitCarbon is that they're all worth a dollar initially. You can always redeem BitCarbon for exactly the number of coins that are behind it. So it provides a stable and inflation hedged alternative to stable coins. How exactly do you use Hedera? Our initial offering was on Ethereum and it worked well till the, the extremely high and unpredictable gas prices made it uh, unviable for us as a business to run on. So we considered other blockchains and we, you know, we finally decided on Hedera. You know, the key characteristics that helped us was obviously, you know, we believe in the governance model. We are an institutional product. So the, the, uh, Council-based governance spot really helps us. The security, the reliability, and, and most importantly, the low and predictable gas prices. Added to that was the, you know, the addition of the, the token service, which was, you know, for us, it's like a hand in glove, right? That's exactly what we needed, something we didn't need to build on our own, uh, something that the platform provided. 
The way we work on Hedera is we're quite an extensive ecosystem. We rely heavily on the Hedera token service and the smart contract service. We also use the consensus service for key audit events. We are a regulated entity and it really helps us to create an audit log you know, on chain. Our physical coins and bars are represented as uh, non-fungible tokens using HTS. Now, what we're launching now is a fungible token called BitCarbon, which is a fraction of an asset token. We also have a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Think of it as a centralized limit order book, which allows our participants to transact amongst themselves. We currently use USDC as the base currency, but that has been live for the last eight months and, and, and doing pretty well. So there you have it, folks, right there. Very cool stuff they are doing on Hedera now. Leaving Ethereum, moving over here. Yeah, Hedera has all these amazing services with the Hedera token service, the Hedera consensus service. And so not only are these NFTs by, created by Diamond Standard on Hedera backed by these hard assets that were created by Diamond Standard, but they also created their own fungible token called BitCarbon, which enables you to have fractions of these assets as well. So very cool. I see a lot more volume coming to Hedera, tra more transaction volume coming to the network. It's fantastic stuff. Every time I see some news about Hedera, it just blows me away. And this week, in fact, I made myself buy some more HBAR because, you know, I'm not going to sit around and wait for that thing to try and go back under six cents. Probably will now that I bought some over uh, at six point. I think it was 6.6, 6.6 cents the day I bought. It was either yesterday or the day before. Probably will go back under six. And you know what? If it does, I'm going to buy some more because I'm having fun buying this project. I love the developer documentations. I love the, because um, I'm a dev as well. I love the governance model, the players in this space. I love the simple crypto passive income. I stake on an LG node and I'm earning 6.5% APY. I love um, <clears throat> that community nodes are coming this quarter. So not only are the governance nodes out, which are ran by gigantic entities we've all heard of, such as Google and Sony or LG and just all the big names we've all heard of, but now community nodes are coming. So other businesses will be able to jump on and run permission nodes and the decentralization is going to continue to grow and we're still going to have this incredible scalability happening under the hood. So that's fantastic. And who knows, maybe we'll get to a point down the road soon where community nodes will even be available to just us small timers who have tech chops and we can spin up nodes as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be happening with the first iteration of community nodes, but I look forward to seeing what happens there. I look forward to getting more HBAR and putting it to work on on my LG node that I'm staking to right now. Very simple crypto passive income with this project that is all about solving business problems like this, tons of utility, lots of use cases. So I'm gonna keep this one short and wrap it up. I hope this video finds you well and I'll see you in the next one.